Okay, I'm going to be making a simple potato salad, but I'm going to give you the secret to a good potato salad. First off, with my eggs, I chop them up like this. It's because a lot of I and a lot of people don't like eggs in their potato salad. So if you chop it up this way, you won't have a whole lot of egg and not potatoes. Then, every now and then, I put tomatoes in it relish, paprika, parsley, and mayonnaise. And I only use Helmers. That's all the ingredients that I need for this potato salad. So I'm going to start with putting a little bit of tomatoes in here. The whole thing to it is not adding too much of a lot of stuff. A little bit of do you. The name of this is potato salad, not egg salad, not tomato salad, not relish salad. So we're going to let the potatoes be the boss here. Relish, I've seen a lot of people take this whole jar and use it. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. And that's enough. Then my mayonnaise. The same as I said, not a lot of stuff. We're just going to make the mayonnaise. And before you keep adding, check and see if that's enough. I don't put salt or pepper. I don't like the taste of pepper. So I don't put salt and pepper. And I already salt, put salt in the potatoes while I was boiling it. And I did add a little bit of salt to the uh, tomatoes because tomatoes is so fresh. It needs a little bit of salt. But other than extra salt, I don't add a whole lot of salt to that. We want this to be potato salad. So we're mixing it good. I will add a little bit of paprika. And I use the smoked paprika. And what the paprika is going to do is give it a color. So if you don't want that white looking potato salad, use something to color it. So we're going to use some paprika in here. And I've seen people use a whole lot of paprika. That's going to take away the taste also. So we don't want to overdo any of this stuff. And let the potatoes, like I said, be the boss here. Mix this up well. And every now and then I like to be a little fancy if I'm cooking for other people. Um, I would line my... Um, bowl with lettuce, a little romaine lettuce and let it have a little cutesy about it. It's all about presentation, so you have to make sure that these, uh, when you serve it something, it look good. See, that looks like enough mayonnaise, but I might add a little bit more because mayonnaise have a tendency to when it get cold, it will soak up in the potatoes. Then it will get dry. So we're gonna add, keep stirring this around until we get it all incorporated. I see now that I could add a little bit more um, eggs to it. I had a cousin. I was cooking for a family cookout, and she was like, are you going to put eggs in it? I was like, yeah. She was like, please, please don't put no eggs in it. I was like, I have to. That's what gives it the good flavor. And she was like, I said, well, you don't like eggs, or are you allergic to eggs? She said, no, I just don't like eggs in my uh, potato salad. So later on after 
everything everybody had eaten. I went to, I said, did you get any of the potato salad? She said, yeah. I said, you liked it? She said, yeah, it was real good. I said, see, I told you you wouldn't know that I put a whole lot of eggs in there. So this is for people who don't like all that eggs and a whole lot of relish and a whole lot of um, paprika. It's your thing. You do it the way you want to. But this is for people who's just starting out. And I should have got a bigger bowl, that's for sure. Trying to get all of this incorporated in this little bowl ain't happening. And I'm wasting everything. But what's on the camera stays on the camera. You won't go to left in the bowl. So I think I got everything down there. So what I'm going to do is wash off my hair. And get started with lining this bowl with the I've already washed off the lettuce. I'm gonna line it. And this if I haven't mentioned is romaine lettuce. I don't know if iceberg will look as pretty, so I don't use the iceberg. And you'll be surprised. That lettuce and potato salad is real good together. Sometimes I like to take the lettuce and put potato salad on it and just eat it like that. You know, we want to get all this water off this lettuce so the potato salad won't be so watery. We don't want water with potato salad. Yeah. We doing? We getting all of that? You get as much water off of it as you can. So I think this is enough tomatoes in here. I think it's enough eggs in here. If you like yours, eggy. By all means, go ahead and add it all in there. This is, like I said, for people who just don't like the taste of eggs and um, all that other stuff in their potato salad. Now, I don't put tomatoes in mines all the time. Like it's summer, I use it because, it's you know, the tomatoes are better in the summertime. all of that out of there. Don't leave none of it. Put that aside. Sorry y'all, I have to wash my hand a lot. I just don't like my hand being dirty. Okay. So now we gotta dress it up. I have eggs here. And what I'm gonna do is cut these up. So we got nice little pretty eggs. I don't like the white part of the egg. So if you like the white part, go ahead and put that in. Just want to make it cutesy. As we cutting the eggs, make sure. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of tomato on there. Because with me, I like to let people know what's in my potato salad. Or whatever I'm making. So if it's... it's it's uh, tomatoes in here. I'm going to put tomato in there in case somebody who's allergic to tomatoes that they won't go ahead and use it. I mean, take none because of the tomatoes or person. 
I usually use the little um, cherry tomatoes and put the ch cherries tomatoes on here, but I got this big one now, so I'll just use that. Could have mashed it down a little bit more and even it out. Then I come in with my paprika and I sprinkle paprika all over it. Then I come in with my parsley flakes. Yes, I use dry ones. I don't know how it would taste with fresh parsley. But I take the dry parsley and I come over and I sprinkle parsley all over it. Quick, simple, and easy. You could do it for your family. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.